GE Tech has this new tiny little 3D printer. I've done a tiny printer before. This one's a little bit bigger. Kind of excited to check it out. This is their M1 3D printer. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. Oh, yep, there we go. My bad. Don't mind, I'm watching Junkyard Digs over here while I uh, kind of play with this. It's got a nice little menu up here. It does have the little card slot. And let's see. We're going to go to Print from Media. And let's see. We're going to go with something simple, which is my logo. And yeah, so... I only have kilogram spools right now, which won't sit on there because of where the power adapter is. We're gonna try to engineer something here with this G-Tech gold filament because I really like it. I wanna see what my logo looks like in it. So yeah, let me figure that out and then we'll go ahead and do a print. On the download section of their website, they do have a kilogram spool holder. It looks like it attaches either into here or right onto here. So I'm going to print that, but it's going to take an hour and a half. So in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and manually feed this. And we'll just do like a benchy or something real fast. The one they have sliced should take about a half hour. And I'll just sit here and watch TV and manually twist this spool at first. But yeah, if you have another printer, you can print that one kilogram spool holder. And we'll check that out in a little bit. But I'm going to feed this filament in and get this thing going. All right. I will say while we wait for this here, I just started printing the Benchy. It's doing its little dance. It does come up with a little bit of filament, but that'll hold a half kilogram. I only have one kilograms. Again, you can go and get that file on their site and print the one kilogram off, which I'm doing, but I'm also impatient. So we're gonna engineer this a little. I don't recommend it, but we're just coming up to temperature here. I will say one thing about this screen, if you're sitting at it like right here, you can't actually see what's selected very well. You have to kind of stand up a little just because of the, the viewing angle of it, but it's a lot better than the one on the other miniature screen. Um, the screen's just so much nicer. You do have this little click wheel. It doesn't always register your clicks. So sometimes you have to go farther than you think to get it to move down and then you just push to select something. Pretty, pretty simple. And I will say, make sure you pay attention to the instructions. There are three zip ties that are attached to this. There's one here, one here, but then there was another one on the back that I didn't notice. And I tried to start it and it went gug, 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 gug. And then I turned it off, flipped it over and noticed the third one. So make sure you get all three of the zip ties before you start trying to use it. The manual talks about that, but I just kind of skimmed over it. Also, while we're waiting on that, you do get one extra nozzle, you get a wrench, you get an Allen key, excuse you, uh, you get a thing for clearing clogs, and then it looks like you've got, I don't know, a tweezer, a pair of tweezers, so pretty cool. And here we go with the Benchy. I did not clean this plate, so it's just how it came from the factory. Oh, one other thing that, I don't know how well you can see it, but back there is one of those little rubber deals that uh, the wiper head cleans on. That other brand's tiny one I had didn't have that. So I do kind of like that. And it looks like it's a pretty common size one, so you should be able to get replacements for that easy. And then you know, you just uh, double-sided tape them down or whatever. Um, yeah, this thing seems really nice. Well, it was going along pretty good, and then it got to a point and it just decided it wasn't interested in completing. Um, it could just be because the way I'm doing this, so we'll try it again once the kilogram spool is, or a spool holder is ready. Actually, I'm looking at it here and I know the spool did get bound up at one point and I think it was at this line. So that's entirely on me, I believe. Don't mind that I've moved to the kitchen here. Um, I just wanted to watch TV and this was kind of in the way. I went ahead and printed one out of PLA. I've got one printed in Pet G though too. It should be done before this model gets printed, but um, you will want to do some supports and and rotate it different than it defaults to because uh, I had issues with the PLA one. I probably will with PTG one too, but I'll reprint it if I have to. That said, let's go ahead and go in here and see what I mean. You can click and sometimes you just gotta like spin it hard to get it to actually move. So we'll go to print media. Let's do this Benchy again. Move it over to print. If it's white, it's selected. If it's yellow, it's not. And yeah. 
So I had the same problem in the exact same spot. I'm starting to think it's just that model. So let me try printing something else and we'll see what happens. Cause it shouldn't be doing that. So it's either the filament or it's the specific model that I'm using there for the Benchy. Got a little string going on there, but you know, I haven't calibrated this filament. Let me get this off here real quick and we'll take a good look at it. So, you know, there's some stringing there and some weirdness there. I'm gonna try a non PLA, I mean a non-silk PLA. We'll see how that goes. Um, I have a different Benchy that I put on the card myself. The one that messed up twice is actually the one that came on the card. Um, I'm starting to think maybe it's just the silk PLA. I've not had problems with this in my other printers, but yeah. So let me switch this spool out for something else and we'll give that a go. I will say here that it's really not a fan of this cardboard spool. It definitely seemed to like the plastic spool. So I'm gonna let this go and then I'll go find a plastic spool or something else. I can already tell, even with the orange filament, it had the exact same stringing issue. Just something to keep in mind with this printer. Let's try a different Benchy row fast. This Viking Benchy seems to have come out a lot better. It still has some issues, but you know, I just need to dial the filament in probably just a little for this printer. But yeah, let me try some other stuff and we'll kind of see what we come up with. It really does not want to stay focused on that, does it? I'm pretty happy with that. There's a model on here that says something about astronaut and this is almost an astronaut orange. So why don't we print that? Oh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. This is one of the files that comes on the card they send. And I think that looks amazing in the orange. Pretty cool. So let's do one more. Clearly you can get good prints out of this. Um, it just may depend on kind of what you're doing. You may need to tinker with things a little, tinker with your you know filament settings and everything. But yeah, I am pretty pleased with that. So let's see what else came on the card. Go down here to print from media. Let's see. We tried the Benchy. There's a cat. I put this crystal hand on here myself. Put the logo on, I put my Viking Benchy on. Let's try the crystal hand I put on and then we'll do the cat after that and then we'll uh, call this video uh, wrapped. So we just push that. Again, white means what's selected. Press that and we'll just let it do its thing. I just out of curiosity tried the Benchy one more time and it came out perfect. Um, it actually looks really good. So I kind of think maybe they may have tested filament in the factory and maybe there was just residue from it or something, or maybe there was just manufacturing gunk in there. I don't know. But the first two I printed, as you saw, didn't really come out very well, but this one just looks, looks great. I mean, it could use some improvement, but like there's nothing structurally wrong with it at all. I am very happy about that. So yeah, got some pretty good stuff printed there. Um, that was that hand that I did. This is supposed to be a ring stand. I just shrunk it down to fit the build volume. And then this is the cap model that comes with it. You know, it looks pretty great. This is a nice little printer. It's G-Tech. I will have a link to this in the description in the sticky comment. And yeah, what should I do with this? Like, there's got to be something fun I can do with this. Either take a big project and break it into little pieces or something. Let me know.